to be able to paint onto an object, 3D Coat must have a UV set for that object. So there are a couple of ways you can go about that. You can manually lay out your UVs in another program, or you can use 3D Coat's automatic UVs. I've already gone ahead and created UVs in another application, but I'll also demonstrate how you can auto UV map something. You can see here that I've already painted a texture on this object. It's pretty basic, you know, just a little, little box. Uh, there aren't very many polys here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine polys per side. So nine times six, easy enough. Uh, it's very low res, but obviously you can see it's looking pretty decent, especially for game content. But anyway. Let's move along here. Um, what I really want to show is that you can have overlapping UVs. And let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, texture editor. Go up to textures, texture UV editor. And here, here's our um, well, here's our UV texture. Pretty self-explanatory. You can paint directly on the texture in this viewport as well. The other thing that 3D Coat can do is you can have overlapping UVs. And that's great. Let's say you wanted, oh, I don't know. Let's say you wanted the bottom piece here to have the caution on there as well. Or or you wanted this piece that says Achtung. You wanted that to, to say Fragile or, you know, whichever. Anyway, the point is, is that you can have overlapping UVs. And so let's go ahead and... Um, Oops, I docked that there. You, the point is, is that you can have overlapping UVs. So if you go over here to the UV tab, you can uh, arrange things as you see fit. Uh, let's say, let's go ahead and move this one up. This is the bottom panel here. Let's move it up and just line it up with this panel here. That was, uh, I believe, the one that said caution. So, once we've done that, we can hit enter and that will commit the change. You'll be prompted, uh, I'm sorry, apply UV set, not enter, my bad. So, if you hit apply UV set, this operation cannot be undone. Do you want to continue? And that's serious, it does really mean that. <laughs> so, once you hit OK, it will take a moment here, but once it is complete, we'll have that bottom panel. It'll be overlapping, and of course it's thinking here. It'll be overlapping UVs with the panel that says fragile or caution, I believe it was. Caution, yes. So there you see, it's, it's moved there. Let's go back over to the paint tab, and uh, yes, it was caution. Let's rotate around to the bottom, and there you go. It now is in the same UV space as that side panel that says caution. So keep that in mind if you want to save space and you have a, an object that needs um, you know a whole lot of UV mapping. If you got something that is repeating, go ahead and stack it, and that's how you do it right there. Real easy to do. Or you could have them already overlapping in another program and import as well. 3D Coat has no problem with overlapping UVs if they're already overlapping when you import. Alright, so there you have it. Quick little demonstration of overlapping UVs in 3D Coat.